Hello and welcome to another video on system programming video lecture series and we are covering shell commands in Linux. In this video we are going to cover 18 most useful and advanced commands based on the VI command that can be used to create and modify files. In this session I am going to discuss the details of the commands as well as I will test these commands by using the Linux operating system. In the last session we covered the cat command that can also be used to create the files as well as to append the files but cat command has very limited features as compared to vi command which has some advanced features and it is available in almost every unix and linux based operating system so that's why we have to cover this topic so i will turn on my linux machine that is amazon cloud server so the first example is that how we can create a file by using the vi command for this purpose we have to use vi space file name in VI command we used to have two modes. The first mode is command mode and the second one is the editing mode. By default when you create a new file you used to be in command mode and in order to edit or update the file you have to go to the edit mode. In the command mode we can perform different type of operations for example going to the upper line, going to the down line, move forward, move backward. Uh, copying the text, deleting the text, deleting the keyword, deleting the lines and so on. We will cover all these examples by using the VI command. So let's create a new file by using the VI command. We will use VI space file name and I will give file name P8. So VI space P8 dot text. Enter. Right now the VI editor is open and we are in the command mode. And if we want to go to the edit mode, we have to press I. So let's press I. And now you can see at the down, the mode has been changed and it is showing that insert keyword. So now we are in the edit mode. So we can write down something inside the text file. So let's suppose we will write down this is the first file created by you by using the VI, uh, VI command. Uh, this file is created by after present primitive and this is the first example okay so i write down three lines in this uh, text file and now if we want to go back to the command mode we have to press escape so even in order to close this file or uh, to do some other operations we have to press escape and that will let us go back to the command mode and then we can perform different options so let's press escape and now you can see the insert keyword at the down it has gone and now we are in the command mode now if we want to save this file we have to press we have to press colon w so colon w is being used to write or save the file you have to make sure that you will be in command mode by pressing the escape key and then you have to write down when you will write down colon w it need to be written at the down which will represent that you are in the command mode so press enter and now you can see it is saying that 123 characters has been uh, written and now your file has been saved and in order to close this file you have to press colon q and again you need to make sure that you are in the command mode not in the editing mode so enter and now you are back to the terminal and if you will use ls to list out your current directories you will see that a new file has been added in your current location with the name pa.txt so so far we covered how we can create the new file how we can go uh, from uh, so the first command we covered how we can create a new file then second command we also covered how we can go to the uh, from editing mode to the command mode by pressing the escape key and if you are in the command mode and you want to go to the editing mode you have to press a r i that will let you go to the editing mode and we also covered how we can write down the file and how we can close the file by using colon w and colon q command is if you want to save as well as close the file then you can use colon w q and by this way the file will be written and will be closed but you have to make sure that you are in uh, command mode not in the editing mode so let's open this file again and do some modification and test this example so i will use again vi space pa.txt i will open this file and right now we are in 
command mode and in order to edit or update this file we have to go back to the editing mode and to go to the editing mode press a or i i press i and now you are in editing mode i will add a new line this is a fourth line added after modifying the the file now i will go back to the command mode by pressing the escape key and i will write down colon w q and enter and now you can see that you are back to the terminal and if you will go and verify this file by using vi command or cat command i will use this time cat command to read this file as read only i will use cat space p8 dot text and in the previous session we covered how we can use the cat command to read the file as read only so you can see the new line that we just added into the file is part of the file next command is if you want to quit the file or you want to close the file without saving it or without writing it how we can do it uh, we can use colon q not in the command mode so let's open the file again by using the vi command i will use vi space p8 dot text and i will modify again i will use the i to go to the edit mode i will add another line this is fifth line and now i want to close this file without writing down this one in the file if i will directly use colon q it will not let me close the file because it will say your file is modified you have to write down or you have to save it first in order to close it so let's try this first you are in the command mode so i will press escape and then i will use simple colon q and press enter and you will see that you cannot close this file because it is saying that you have to save the file first and then you can close it but i want to enforce the closure of the file without writing down so i will use colon q not and by this way you will be able to close the file without saving its content so now you can see that you are back and again if you open the content of this file you will notice that this file will not have the fifth line so you can use the cat space p8 dot text to read the content and you can see the fifth line has not been added over here so that is the uh, the benefit of using colon q not that will let you close the file without saving it sometime file is being used by some other program and you want to write the file as well as close the file forcefully then you can use colon w q not because by this way even the file is being used by some other application it will let you write down and close it so let's open the file again and test this one vi space p8 dot text i will open the file and now i will try to modify this one by first i need to go to the editing mode so i will press i i will write down new line over here this is the fifth line i added new line i will go back to the command mode by pressing escape and now i will write down w q not and by this way you will be able to write down or save this text or this file as well as you will quit it by forcefully so enter and you will be back to the terminal in the previous example we covered that we can use colon wq to write down the file as well as close it we can use zz two times in order to save the file as well as close so zz in the command mode will work or will do the exactly same thing as colon wq is doing next example is that if you are editing a file and you want to reload the original file while discarding the existing changes so you can use our colon e not to reload the file and all the changes that you are you made in the open file it will be discarded and the file will be opened again with the original contents so let's test this example also so i will open the file vipa dot text i opened now i will go to the editing mode i will add another line this is sixth line i added another line over here now i will go to the command mode by pressing the escape 
this time i want to discard these changes and i want to reload the file again with the original contents so i will use colon e not and enter and you will see that the file has been reloaded and opened in the vi editor while the latest changes are being discarded so that was the number seven uh, command so let's go to the next slide where we have some more examples although vi command is available in every unix or linux based operating system but it is little complex and you cannot do the basic operations by using simple arrows and these things so in order to do th these things you you have some special commands so in this slide we are going to cover those special commands so the first command is that if you want to go at the end of the line you have to press dollar sign uh, key from your keyboard but you need to make sure that you are in the editing mode right now i am in the editing mode and let's suppose i want to go to the end of this line i will press uh, dollar sign that is shift 4 so if i press you can see my cursor move to the end of the line in the same way if you want to go to the start of the line you have to press the hat key that is shift uh, 6 and you can see you are back to the start of the line so by this way you can move the cursor at the start of the current line or at the end of the current line next command is if you want to go to the next word you want to skip the current uh, current word and you want to move to the next word then you have to press w so let's try w you can see uh, the cursor has been moved from this to file in the same way it is moved to uh, uh, is when I press W again, uh, again press it. Now we are moved to create it and it is moving word by word ahead of the each word. Next example is if you want to go back to the previous word uh, on the same line. So you can see I am pressing the uh, B keyword and the cursor is moving uh, word by word to the back. Next example is that if you want to go to the last line of your open file, then I have to use shift G and by this way right now wherever your cursor is it will be moved to the last line of your file. So press shift G and you can see it has been moved to the last line. Next example is that if I want to move my cursor to a specific line number then I have to enter the line number and then I have to press shift G. And by this way the cursor will be moved to that line number so let's test this one i want to go to the line number three so i will press three and then shift g and you can see the cursor has been moved to line number three if i want to go to the line number one then i have to press one shift g and you can see that you are moved to the line number one so this is the way how you can go to the specific line by pressing uh, shift s uh, along with the line number next command is if you want to copy specific words or lines by using the vi command then you have to use the capital y so let's suppose i want to copy the first line uh, that will be pasted at the end of the file so i will use shift y and now the first line has been copied if you want to copy specific words then you have to use y number of words like two and then w y2 w will let you copy two words from your current uh, cursor position in the same way if you want to copy two lines then you have to use two y2 j j is being used to uh, to copy the specific number of lines we already copied the first line and now i want to paste it on the third line so i will move my cursor to the third line and i will press p which is being used to paste the selected data or text so i will use shift p or capital p you can see the copied text has been pasted on line number three so this is the way how you can copy the data and how you can paste it at the specific location by using our capital y to copy the data capital p to paste the data next example is if you want to cut specific uh, data like line specific line or specific words then you have to press the uh, capital D. So let's try to cut the line number three and paste it on line number five. So I will use shift D that will cut the line and I will paste it on line number five. So I will move the cursor to line number five and then over there I will press shift P or capital P and you can see over here the line new line 
are the cutted data has been pasted on line number five so this is the way how we can move data or cut data from one place and add it to another place i will just do the formatting again remove the spaces okay now i will go back to the command mode and the last command is if you want to delete something from your file by using the command mode then you have to press x that will delete letter by letter so i, I will press x and you can see letter by letter it is deleting the file contents that's it for today's session and in this session we covered several examples about how we can uh, edit the file by using the vi command if you like my video click on the like button and don't forget to share it thank you